Alicia! Uh, no! Hero! Run away! Run away! <laughs> What's the matter with you, Lucia? Turning our special guests away without a proper reception. That's so evil, Mike. I would have thought you'd at least have the manners to show them around. So far, your twisted words don't scare us. We will not allow you to pervert this world with your evil. Your game's up. Nah, 
save this for you, Infidel! using a power you can't fathom.
give up power, your belief in each other. Bye. 
I've known this all along, and yet, now it becomes clear. The real power of this world lies in the human spirit. I believe, Hero. I finally believe. Hero! 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 <laughs> time to roll the bones. Mega showdown time! This fight will be ours. If we only believe. In the power that lies within us. Hero, it's true. Humanity's power is the key. You are blind to the truth. This world is one of light and hope. You have no place here. Your power can never extinguish the light within the hearts and minds of every single human. The power to love, trust, and hope will always conquer the lore of evil. I finally believe that. Your speed is circles, sweet. Ronfar, Jean, Lamina, Leo, Ruby, and Hero. The time has come. Believe in yourself and take back this world for humanity. I believe in you. Never give up. So far, it's time to die! Yes, and you will be the first to go!
I love this! I save this for you, Infidel!
Nah, lend me your power!
for you, infidel!
justice has triumphed at last. So far may finally be history. That mega magic maniac is gone for good. And it's all thanks to you, Lucia and Hero. We all believed in you. And now the happy ending we dare not even dream has come true. Oh, thank you all. We couldn't have done it without you.
you? Hey, the heck are you telling Hero that for? You just finished saying you'd go back to Taven's Peak with me. Oh, yeah, right. Well, I knew that. Well, Hero, I guess you'll have to make your way home without me. But at least you've got Lucia to keep you company. I'm going back with Null to Taven's Peak. He promised to show me how to morph into a human form. Hopefully it doesn't make me as immature as he is. Hey, who are you calling immature, you little pipsqueak? <sighs> okay. Read my lips. You! Well, Chief, it looks like your gamble paid off big. You saved the world and picked up a cheeky little babe in the process. <sighs> now that everything's calmed down, I think it's time for me to pack away the old magic ivories and settle down with Mari back in Rakuli. I know, I know. It doesn't sound like me. But hey, it's time. Hey, Ronfar, if you ever get the urge, I'd be happy to accept your magic dice as a donation to the Vane Magic Hall of Fame. It's gonna be mega cool, I promise. Think about it, okay? Now that I'm massively experienced from fighting that pantywad so far, I'm sure I can revive the rich history and tradition here in Vane. By the way, Hero, I've made you an honorary member of the guild, so come back and visit sometime, okay? I'll never forgive Lun for what he did to me and the other children he corrupted with his terrible teachings. But at least now I can try to forget. <sighs> now that I've come to terms with my past, I can dance with absolute freedom, unrestrained by the specter of my terrible secret. Thank you, Hero. Hero, your strength is admirable. The fire in your eyes reminds me of days gone by. But before I can move forward, I must reevaluate everything I once took for granted. I'm leaving to find something I only know in my heart. And when I find it, my life will begin anew. I'll never forget the adventure we all shared. If any one of us hadn't been there at the final battle, so far might have won. You all deserve the best in life, and I know you'll find it. Stay in touch, okay? Ruby, Ronfar, Jean, Lamina, Leo, and Nal. Your thoughts and your love of this world will live inside of me forever. Oh, goodbye. So, are you ready, Lucia? Yes, hero. Come on, Lucia. We should go. Grandpa Gwen's probably sick with worry by now. Yes, you're probably right. Man, I can't wait to get home. The first thing we'll do is set up a room for you. Then we have to teach you how to cook, so you can do your share of the meals. I hope you don't mind fish. If Ruby doesn't have some every other day, she turns kind of cranky, and I bet she'll be visiting often. Oh, Hero. Uh, what's wrong, Lucia? I never knew that that being with someone could make me feel so wonderful. It's a different feeling from the way it was on the blue star. Lucia, you're not alone anymore, and you'll never be alone again. We'll be together forever. Forever? Yes, forever. You're right, Hero. Of course I am. Did you doubt me? <laughs> Just knock those bad thoughts right out of your mind and let's get home. All right, Hero.
You know, in a few days the village of Larpa is holding its annual goddess festival. They celebrate the blessings of Athena with singing and dancing and drinking. And every year, they hold a contest to choose the best singer of the festival. This year, it'll be you, for sure. A singing contest? In front of people? I don't know. Tell you what, if it makes you less nervous, we'll go and get the kids from Tabin's Peak. All of you can sing together. It'll be great. Lucia, what's wrong? Nothing, really. I was just wishing we could continue this journey forever. Oh. Well, Lucia, I have to be honest. I've been thinking the same thing. After we visit Grandpa, let's take the destiny and go on a new adventure. What do you think? That sounds wonderful, Hero. Okay, then we'll call it a plan. I can't wait. This will be great. Well, here we are. We better get moving. I can't wait to tell Grandpa Gwen about all the stuff we've done. Come on, Lucia. Wait, Hero. There is still something I want to do before we speak to Gwen. I want to visit the place where I first met you. You mean the Blue Spire? But, Lucia, I, I don't understand. You needn't. Will you do it? For me? Of course, Lucia. You know I'd do anything for you. Lucia? Lucia? <sighs> this world will be hard to forget. I've come to love so many things here. The bright green grass, the dazzling light of the clear blue sky, and the people whose strength of conviction shines brightly on to eradicate evil. Yes, the inner strength you humans possess is the kind of magic that can revive the blue star. You have the strength and power to control your own destiny. And that's the greatest gift of all. Lucia, what are you... During our fight with Sofar, he said one thing that was very true. He said that I couldn't believe that I was incapable of believing in the power of humanity. And so, Hero, I could not believe in you. No! Lucia, what are you doing? When I came to this world, I did not even know the meaning of humanity's power. So how could I believe? But you changed all that, Hero. 
You showed me the power of your inner strength and made me believe. I returned to the blue star far richer than when I left. For you see, I now know that one day, when it is restored, I can safely entrust it to humans who will care for it as tirelessly as you have cared for Lunar. And Hero, I know that day will eventually come because I hold the most miraculous power of all in my heart, the power of love. Lucia, I will find a way. Hero, where are you going? I think you already know, Ruby. No can do, Ruby. Why can't you just accept the fact that she's gone? Because she's alone out there, waiting. And I intend to find a way to get to her, with or without your help.
Oh, Ruby. Just open your eyes. 